Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue. And I'm gonna show you guys just a quick Easter egg real quick. I guess you can call it that. Oh, well, if you come here, there's this guy here and he ties his shoe. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? This is all within theoretical limits. Yeah, he just rambles about stuff. But that's not the Easter egg. If you come in here to the break room, where you also get your suit, my... um, and come over here, and there's something that says Freeman, and that's actually your. Yes, this all looks nominal. Yeah, this is your, uh, obviously your closet, since you work here. Now this battery pack thing, we can pick that up later, but right now we're just gonna have to wait. What does that say? This seems to be some kind of dictionary. Yeah, this seems to be a. Giant bullet and a uh, picture of a baby. So obviously, Most of the Gordon is a uh, father. You know? That's kind of cool. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. I think there's a guy in here who says something. Oh, I must remember to report that fluctuation. Dang it! I thought you could uh talk to them. I hope those containment parameters are still nominal. Yeah, and if you hear him talking, and he's actually talking about stuff that will cause error in the the test that's coming up. You can activate the uh, blow dryer, I guess, if you really want to. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Oh my gosh, ties? you already said that, buddy. Calm down there. Now, uh, I know, and uh, Half Life Two. Some of the names of the scientists that are on there, like Vance and, uh, dang it, what's the other guy, Kleiner, uh, you can't find their things in here, which is kind of weird, because, you know, they they both work here at Black Mesa, so anyway, we'll get there. So what you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to press this button, and it will open that over there, and you can come over here and grab your suit. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's the suit talking. Yeah, basically the suit just uh, tells you that it's for use with radioactive things. So, and also once you take too much damage, it'll say vital signs low or something. As I expected, but we'll get to that later. So anyway, come down this way. Greetings! Looks like you're in the barrel today. Um, here's that one same guard again. If you'll notice, all the guards look the same in this game. And most of the scientists are the same throughout the game. Uh, their faces never really change that much. So, hmm, Black Mesa. That's where we are. We'll get to that dam later, because you actually go there. Later on in the game. Control reports all systems on time. What was that? And sometimes you'll hear all you'll hear you'll hear automated messages uh throughout the game. This is the PA system talking. Now you can actually take that ladder, but or you can just come here. Take the uh, easy way down. That wasn't good. Oh, <laughs> but if you die, it'll just send you back to the last checkpoint, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And actually, if you die, I didn't really show it, but when you die, you can actually look around for just a little bit um, until you hit a button. But oh, that's kind of loud. <laughs> Sorry. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I checked out the last part that I recorded and. Everything was well, so we can actually jump down from here. These guys staring at you. These guys look exactly oh, like. Hello, boy. Demon, it's good to see you. Okay, stop talking. I'm trying to commentate. <laughs> they both look at me. Wow, that's kind of cool. Anyway, these guys—they look exactly like the two guys that are in uh, Half-Life 2. Two of the main times, these guys. So. We're getting closer. Getting closer to the hellhole. 
do, 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 do. It's good to see you. Here we are. Ah, Gordon. Now these guys will are. talk. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Look, it's Albert Einstein. Could have gambled, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. Yeah. In the test chamber. Some lengths. Okay, and then he will come over and open the door for you. Yeah, that's where we're going. Now remember that very well. Um, once we do half life two. This analysis is going to run perfectly today. Don't you think? This is when you'll see that and you uh it's about to go critical. Uh oh. What's going on over here? What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Yeah, obviously their machines weren't meant to go to such high power. Okay, you wanna come over here and you wanna activate this elevator. The elevator. And now we can go down to the chest chamber. Did I say chest cha chamber? Uh, chest lab, that's where we're going. Oh, wait. Is that where we want to go? I guess it is, because we just hit a loading screen. Okay. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yeah, um, I'm going to try not to talk when they talk, because some of the stuff they say is pretty important. I mean, not too important, but here we are in the test chamber. And you just got to wait for them to talk to you. Testing? Here Testing? They are. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Your okay. suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay, so that's what we have to do. If you climb up this ladder here, come over here and you can hit this button. Then turns this crap on, like you said. And then you just, you just come back down here and wait for things to get going. And we're almost out of time here. I think. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Whoa, that's I'm pretty cool. Predictable phase arrays. Actually, if you jump into that, you'll die, so... Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. How long the reading will take at least. Work as quickly That's as you can. Good. So, uh, you might have to do here. One, all of five percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no, it's well within acceptance. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed okay, that the sample is ready, Gordon. It the should sample. be coming up to you ready. Look to be ready. Uh, uh, sorry. I'm trying to make sure that it looks... Yeah, now here's a block of cheese that you're going to just put over here and push into here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, ah, what's going on? Shutting down. No, attempt to shut down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well guys, we gotta go see you next time.